Mr. Men and Little Miss Treasury. I've got tons of stories to tell you. Come and see. There we go. I've chosen a story throughout the week. And this week's story will be called... Mr. Happy Finds a Hobby. Mr. Happy is a happy sort of fellow. He lives in Happy Land, which is the happiest sort of place. Behind his house there is a wood full of happy birds, and on the other side of the wood there is a lake full of happy fish. Now one day, not that long ago, Mr. Happy went out for a walk through the wood. As he came to the shore of the lake he heard an unusual sound. A sound that is seldom heard in Happy Land. It was, it was the sound of somebody moaning and grumbling. And Mr. Happy peered around the trunk of a tree. At the edge of the lake, there was somebody fishing. Fishing and grumbling. And grumbling and fishing. It was Mr. Grumble. Good morning, Mr. Grumble, said Mr. Happy. Shh, shushed Mr. Grumble. Sorry, whispered Mr. Happy. Have you caught anything? Yes, I've caught a cold, grumbled Mr. Grumble. I've been sitting here all night. I hate fishing. Then why are you fishing, asked Mr. Happy. Because Mr. Quiet said it was fun. And you see, I'm trying to find something I enjoy doing. Something I could do as a hobby. Hmm, pondered Mr. Happy. I might be able to help. Come on. Let's see if we can find you a hobby. As they walked along, Mr. Happy thought long and hard. And as he thought, Mr. Grumble grumbled. He grumbled about the noise that the birds were making. He grumbled about having a walk. But most of all, he grumbled about not having a hobby. Grumble, grumble, grumble. First of all, they met Mr. Rush in the car. Mr. Happy explained what they were doing. What's your hobby? asked Mr. Grumble. Speed, says Mr. Rush. Hop in. And they did. Mr. Grumble very quickly decided that he did not like going fast. Next, they met Little Miss Giggles. What's your hobby? asked Little Miss uh, Mr. Grumble. I tee-hee like tee-hee giggling, giggled Miss Giggles. So they went to the circus to see the clowns. Little Miss Giggles giggled. Mr. Happy laughed, and Mr. Grumble frowned. I hate custard pies, grumbled Mr. Grumble. It proved to be a very long day for Mr. Happy. They went everywhere. They went to Little Miss Splendid's house, but Mr. Grumble did not like wearing hats. They went to Mr. Mischief's house, but Mr. Grumble did not like practical jokes. They bounced with Mr. Bounce and looked through keyholes with Mr. Nosy. But nothing was right. In fact, nothing was left. Mr. Happy ran out of ideas. As the sun was setting, they saw Mr. Impossible coming towards them down the lane. Now, if anybody can help us that somebody out to be Mr. Impossible, said Mr. Happy, Hello, he said. You're a good at the impossible. Can you think of a hobby that Mr. Grubble would enjoy? That, said Mr. Impossible. Yes, said Mr. Happy and Mr. Grumble at the same time. Would be impossible, said Mr. Impossible. <coughs> growled Mr. Grumble and stormed off home. It was a while drinking a cup of tea. It was a while drinking a cup of tea the next morning that Mr. Happy had an idea. A perfectly obvious idea. He rushed round to Mr. Grumble's house. I've got it, cried Mr. Happy. You can take up fishing. Fishing? But I hate fishing. I know, but what do you what do, you do while you are fishing? asked Mr. Happy. I don't know. You grumble, said Mr. Happy. And what do you like doing most of all? I like... Then it dawned on Mr. Grumble. I like grumbling. Mr. Grumble looked at Mr. Happy and then, for the first time in a very long time, he smiled.
a very small smile, but a smile all the same. Thank you for watching this story, and I'll see you again soon for another one. Goodbye.